That's when I decided. <laughs> Bum! Wait, you don't mean... That's why. That's why you became a defense attorney. To meet Edgeworth? If I was a defense attorney, I knew he'd have to meet me whether he wanted to or not. In court. Edgeworth believed in me, and I believed in him. He's in pain, and no one's on his side. I'm the only one who knows the real Edgeworth. I'm the only one who can help him. Whoa, Nick. So, is that why you helped me out for free? Uh, yeah. I helped you because I believed in you. Except, I don't remember saying I'd do it for free. Aw, oh, Nick. 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 We have to save Mr. Edgew Edgeworth if it's the last thing we do, okay? Right, it very well may be. First, there's that rental boat shop caretaker. We need to find out who or what he is. Or what? He's a demon. A mutant. I'd settle for who. I guess I can clean out some of this evidence I no longer need. Okay, let's go. Wait, so my cult record's a lot cleaner now. Oh my god, yeah it is. Jesus. Kind of. Let's go! Gorlake! Alright. Hey pal, long time no see. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. Close one today, eh? I got so worked up I snapped my tie in half. Uh, sorry about that. No prob, pal. Thanks to you, we now know who really did it. You mean the boat shop caretaker? Look, I'll make you a promise. I'll have that scoundrel in my custody by trial time tomorrow. Come what may. It's my duty to you as a police officer. Now I'm off to catch me a criminal. There he goes. Detective Gumshoe sure is active today. Oh, one other thing. No one can go into the woods today. The woods? Where Lotta was camping? The woods are off limits to camping, and apparently the park ranger found out. He got pretty mad. No one can go in for a while. I guess Lotta's in a lot of trouble. Anyway, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Bye, Gumshoe! Move! So... Public beach, and then the rental shop. Okay, public beach. Huh? The steel I saw is missing. I saw? Looks like the hot dog stand is closed, too. I guess Larry's been too busy f with the trial to show up for work. Oh. Alright, so, rental. Boat rental shop. The old caretaker got away. Yep. I never imagined he might be the real murderer. Ahem! Oh my god, it's gross back. I don't have that clearing of the throat anywhere. Aha! Hello! What might you be doing here? Out for a walk, hmm? Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon. I didn't even re read what he says. Mr. Grossberg! This is no time for idle reminiscing. Mr. Edgeworth's trial ends tomorrow. Uh, that is true, yes. But from what I saw of today's trial, Edgeworth should be fine, right? Well, I'm not so sure about that. Oh, uh what do you mean by that? Well, I'm not sure. Hmm. If you find anything out, come by my office at once. Oh, pardon me. I may be able to offer you some assistance. Thanks. Bye. That was weird. What do you think Mr. Grossberg was doing here, anyway? Who knows? Okay. That was incredibly random. To the caretaker shack. Hmm. Nobody's home. Hello, hello. Hey, it's Polly. I wonder where your owner's gone, Polly. That's all she says. Can't believe he'd run off and leave his poor parrot to fend for herself. <laughs> Fuck's sake. What an annoying bird. It doesn't seem to shut up. That reminds me, Nick. Polly here knows the number to the safe, right? Yeah, that's right. Polly, what's the number to the safe? 1228. Let's open it, Nick. Come on. I'm sure there isn't any money in there. Aww. But hey. It keeps it locked, right? So there must be something of value in there. I'm not so sure. Okay, Nick. Let's see what's in there. I guess there might be a clue or two. The only thing in here is a letter. A letter? Aw, oh, boring. 
Hmm, there's no name or signature on this thing. It's handwritten in very precise, clear letters. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Edgeworth? Nick? Why would Mr. Edgeworth's name be on here? How should I know? I'm gonna read the whole thing. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. It also says this is your last chance. Now is your time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. The rest of the letter goes on to describe the murder plot in detail. How to kill Robert Hammond and frame Edgeworth. Calling Edgeworth out to the lake, getting on the boat, firing twice. It's exactly what I figured out today in court. It's all here, in perfect detail. What the fuck? Hmm. So, what... What do you think it means, Nick? I don't know, but it looks like these are instructions for that caretaker. When he killed Robert Hammond and called out Edgeworth, he was following instructions. Who could have written that letter? And what does it mean to get revenge on Miles Edgeworth? Look, I don't know, okay? But one thing's for certain. This letter is an amazing clue. Okay. Huh. That was one hell of a find. Actually, can I examine any other things? Like these? Say, Nick, don't people usually put pictures of fish up on the wall to post about them? Yeah, I guess so. You mean pictures of the fish they caught, right? Right, but don't all the fish on the wall here look really puny to you? Well, you know what they say. You should have seen the one that got away. Except the one that got away from us was the caretaker, and we did see him. Why do I feel like we're having two different conversations here? Which we basically are. Oh, back to the boat rental shop. Uh, uh, uh. Back to the beach, back to the entrance. Where to go now? Uh, guess we could go back here. One day left, Nick. Yeah, I know. Well, no time to waste. Let's get going. Okay, let's go. Look at Edgeworth. He looks so... so sad. Oh, I thought he was actually going to say something. Whatever. You look as grim as always. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth, I heard the story about the glass trial. Glass trial? What do you mean? You don't remember? No, I don't. Your lunch money was stolen, wasn't it, in fourth grade? Lunch money? Oh, oh right, yes I seem to remember something like that. Nick, I think you're the only one who really remembers. Well, it probably only really mattered to me anyway. Mr. Edgeworth... Didn't you know? That trial was the reason Nick became a defense attorney. Ridiculous. Gee, thanks. That said, it does sound like the kind of thing you'd do. You haven't changed a bit, have you, right? So simple. To a fault, even. Well, maybe, yeah, but... I think you changed too much, Edgeworth. Perhaps. Mm -hmm. Why prosecute? Hey, Edgeworth. Why did you become a prosecutor, anyway? You used to look up to your dad. You said you wanted to become a def to be a defense attorney, right? I couldn't let myself deny reality like you. What do you mean? My father was taken from me, and you want me to defend criminals? I'm sorry, right, but I'm not that good of a person. One suspect was apprehended in your father's murder, right? Yes. The man trapped in the elevator with my father. His name was Yanni Yogi. He had to be the shooter any way you look at it. Yet, he was found innocent. That defense attorney got him off. Got him off the hook. That would be Robert Hammond. On that day 15 years ago, the three of us were trapped in that elevator for five hours. When we were rescued... Oh dear, we all suffered oxygen deprivation. I had lost all memory of the murder. Lost your memory? Even now I can't recall what happened in that elevator. That was the crux of Yogi's attorney's argument in court. He claimed Yanni Yogi had not been of sound mind due to, the due to the oxygen deprivation. Yogi was released due to the lack of evidence... Innocent. That's when I changed my mind. 
I started to hate defense attorneys. Prosecutor Von Karma. What's your relationship with Von Karma? He's my teacher, and a man who deserves respect. I learned everything I know in the, of courtroom teachings from him. So he's like my sister was to you, Nick. He's a perfectionist in all things. In court, in his personal life, he is obsessed with doing everything perfectly. Perfectly, huh? In all the cases he has taken on, none were left unsolved, and not one suspect was declared innocent, ever. But, but that's... I know. It's possible some of the suspects were indeed innocent. However, it's impossible for us to accurately determine that in every case. All Von Karma does is in is his job, to find the suspect guilty, perfectly. In any case, it's now well impossible to find a weakness in him. Should a weakness appear, he would do everything in his power to make it go away. Edgeworth? If what you're saying is true, you're headed for a guilty sentence tomorrow. He's right. Now's no time to praise the enemy, Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm. It's a strange, strange situation in which I find myself, I'll admit. No kidding. Right, present him the letter of revenge. Edgeworth, see this letter? Mm hmm. This came out of, a, of the safe in the shack where the, that boat rental caretaker lives. I see. Revenge on me? Who is that old guy anyway? I... I don't know. Could he be an innocent defendant that you got you got declared guilty or something? Nice, right? But I don't remember that old man. Not at all. So he was following this letter then. Which means there was someone else behind it. Now is your time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. Two men, meaning myself and Robert Hammond? He also says this is your last chance. Last chance? Wait, maybe... Maybe he's talking about the s statute of limitations on the DL6 incident. Wait. Wait, that old man. What is it? Do you know who he is? Yogi. Could he be Yogi? Yoni Yogi. The suspect in the DL6 incident, the one who was found innocent. Oh. <coughs> Yoni Yogi. Yoni Yogi was a court bailiff at the time. We just happened to be in the elevator together 15 years ago. Keep flashing back to this. Earthquake? But of course, yes. The quake was incredibly strong. Before I knew it, everything was dark. We were there for so long, it felt like forever. The air thinned, and the darkness closed in on us in that little box. We became unsettled. Oh dear. Help, I can't breathe. Quiet, I said. Quiet. You're not making this any easier. I want to get out. Help, get us out. Don't shout, you'll just use up more oxygen. Oof. That's all I remember. When I came to, I was in a hospital bed staring up at the ceiling. Ugh. In court, Yoni Yogi's mental condition was called into question. They claimed the oxygen deprivation and stress had te caused temporary insanity. In the end, the claim passed the car and Yogi was found innocent. Dum, 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 dum. Huh, but isn't that strange? This letter tells him to get revenge on Edgeworth. Why would he want to get revenge on you? Right, yeah? There's something that's been troubling me these last few days. I didn't know whether or not I should tell you. You mean the nightmare? It's a nightmare I've had, a memory of a crime I committed, a crime you committed, a memory of a murder. I think the time has come to tell all. The Nightmare! For the last 15 years, I've had the same dream almost every night. I wake up in a fearful sweat every time. What kind of dream? It's a dream about my father's killing, in the dark. I can't breathe. Quiet, I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. Wanna get out? Help, get us out. Don't shout, use more oxygen. I, I can't breathe. You, you're using up my air. What? Stop breathing my air. I'll stop you. What? What are you... Stop breathing my air. No, father. 
He's attacking father. Then I see the pistol lying by my feet. I don't know if it was evidence from that day in court or the bailiffs. In the days I picked up the pistol. Get away! Get away from my father. Oh dear. Oh no. And that's all he remembers. And with that scream, I wake. It's a bone-chilling scream. A scream that has rung in my ears for the past 15 years. But... That's just a dream, right? Right? <laughs> I don't know. That thought is the only thing that's kept me sane for the... For the last 15 years. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's real? They say that sometimes people shut out memories in self-defense. Maybe it was... I who killed my father. What? If you think about it that way, this letter makes sense. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Think about it. Yogi was really innocent. That's why he wanted revenge against me. Wait, Edgeworth. You... you mean... It was me. I was the true criminal of, C of DL6. I shot my father. This is bad. What are we going to do, Nick? What can we do? I don't know. I don't think there is anything we can do. Like it or not. If there is someone else who knows a lot about the DL6 incident, maybe. Grossberg! There is, Nick. There is someone else who knows about DL6. Yeah, Grossberg. For starters, he's the one that had the DL6 incident, um, photos. So, you know. Either way. Mr. Grossberg. Ah, oh, hello there. What's wrong? You look troubled. No kidding. I can't believe you're not. But my, my, my. Just calm down and tell me what happened, okay? Oh, mm hmm. It's Mr. Edgeworth. He, he. Are we filling him in on him on him in on the details? I see. So Edgeworth dreamt he shot his own father. It's only a dream. Only a dream. I wonder. What? If that's the case, then why do you two look so troubled? Hmm. Well. Also consider this. Yogi quite certainly holds a deep grudge against Miles Edgeworth. So, so deep he'd want to frame him for murder. This leads me to summarise, or surmise even, that Mr. Edgeworth's dream was not a dream, it was real. As you imagined. Ugh. Miles Edgeworth threw the pistol to save his father. The pistol fired, and the deed was done. No. I don't believe it. Yogi was suspected of murder and his career as a bailiff was it irrecoverably wrecked. Thus he sought revenge on Miles Edgeworth. This was his last chance, of course, with the statute of limitations so close. Hmm. Gregory Edgeworth. What do you know about Edgeworth's father? He was a defense attorney without peer. It sounds trite, but it's true. Well, he may have one peer now, that you think about it. Your mentor, Mia Fey. My sister? Gregory Edgeworth was very disapproving of Mr. Von Karma's techniques. That's no surprise. Von Karma is an extreme man, false testimonies and evidence are nothing to him. The result, he has a perfect win record in court. Um. To beat him, Gregory Edgeworth tried to call attention to his methods. And? He lost. And died in despair, as it were. I see. Spirit medium. When Gregory Edgeworth was killed, I did not get to read that because I touched the screen. That was your mother, Misty Fay. I am Gregory Edgeworth. I have been killed. The one who shot me was the bailiff, Yanni Yogi. Yet Yogi was found innocent. That's when my mother left us. Everyone called her a fraud. That's right. Everyone thought she was, you see. And yet now that I think about it, it seems the one who lied was Gregory Edgeworth's ghost. Gregory, Gregory Edgeworth must have known who shot him. I don't believe it. So you're saying he falsified his testimony? That Edgeworth's dad lied to protect his son? It's only a possibility, mind you. But a possibility nonetheless. So what did it say to begin with? The police called on a spirit medium. That was it. Yeah, I just want to skip by all this. I don't need to listen to it all again. Listen. Read it all again. 
cool. Present. Well, Grossberg, what do you make of this? Oh-ho! So this is the letter? It does seem that Yogi was following this letter when he killed Hammond. But why kill Robert Hammond? Hammond was a skilled defense attorney. Defense. I said that really weirdly. But he defended clients not for their sake, but for his own. Huh? His own sake? He never trusted his clients, that one. The only thing he trusted was his own ability. But he got his client found innocent, so why should it matter? Actually, my dear, it's quite different. He won that innocent verdict for no one but himself. Yogi was a free man, but socially he was ruined. Huh? You'll understand soon enough. Wait. What is it? This letter. I've seen this handwriting somewhere before, a long time ago. Whose handwriting was this? Do you have any idea who wrote this? Edrith, Yogi, Karma probably. Could it be Manfred from Von Karma? Von Karma? Why would he have something to do with this? Well, I'm not sure. Hmm? Von Karma. Von Karma. But wait, you're right, my boy. This is Von Karma's handwriting, I'm sure of it. He used to see it all the time on court records. Court reports. What? But that means... The one who told Mr. Yogi to kill was... Correct. Manfred Von Karma himself. What does this mean, then? Why would Von Karma want to frame Edgeworth? What the heck? Prosecutor Von Karma? If it, if it truly was Von Karma who wrote this letter, then he would know the truth. He would know that Miles Edgeworth had accidentally killed his own father. He'll say as much tomorrow in court, I should think. He'll press the point until the court finds Miles Edgeworth guilty. Oh no. But how could Von Karma know about Mr. Edgeworth's path, past like that? Even Mr. Edgeworth just thought it was a nightmare. It was just a nightmare. That I do not know. Yet I do know that Von Karma is both persistent and a perfectionist. He may be seeking to satisfy a grudge against Gregory Edgeworth by hurting his son. What do you mean? It was 15 years ago. Von Karma met Gregory Edgeworth in court, and Von Karma did win. But he didn't make it through the trial unscarred. Oh, Gregory versus Manfred. What happened in the trial between Ed Edgeworth's dad and Von Karma? Von Karma got the guilty verdict he wanted. He won the trial. But Gregory Edgeworth accused Von Karma of faulty, faulty, faulty evidence. And though he lost the trial, Mr. Edgeworth's accusation stood. Faulty evidence? It was the only penalty Von Karma has ever received in his career as a prosecutor. Gregory Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. Wow. Must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. A vacation? Yeah, an unusual event for that man. That was the first and the last vacation he's taken in his many years of prosecuting. Really? He doesn't take vacations? Like, go to the sea or go to the mountains? Don't tell me, he's never been to Europe. You have strange ideas about vacations, Maya. In any case, that was the only time he could he took a vacation from work. I believe the penalty upset him quite a lot. Odd. If he wanted to keep a perfect record so badly, why would he take such a long vacation? What do we do, Nick? Volcamer is going to bring up DL6, you can bet on it. What if Mr. Edgeworth pleads guilty on DL6? I won't let him. Yes, Mr. Wright. I hate to say this, but even accidental murder is murder, you know? I know that. I... I just believe in Edward's innocence. I can't believe he'd kill someone. But... but Nick. Mr. Edgeworth admits it himself. His father must have lied to protect him from beyond the grave. I don't care. I know he's not guilty. Mr. Wright, if you say so, I suppose I could go check again. The police files might still... might hold something of interest. Mr. Grossberg? Thank you. Can't promise anything. In fact, I think the chances of finding something are slim. I understand. Police materials. Hmm. To the police department! What? Wait. The detention center, I guess? Alright, yeah, okay, cool. Phew! Got really kind of scared then. Hmm. So. There's hardly anyone here. Everyone must be out looking for the old guy. Ah, it's you. I don't think Gumshoe will be coming back today. He's staying out late looking for someone. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe is pounding the pavement for real. Uh, we were wondering if we could check on the check out the court, uh, the records room again. Well, 
Well now, I can't have just anyone wandering around in there. But I guess Mr. Von Karma is in there now anyway. I can go in as long as he's there. Von Karma? Yes, he just arrived actually. Von Karma's in the records room? Nick, let's hurry. Oh god, this seems like a bad idea. Hmm. Christ. Dusty as always. We were only here just yesterday. I'm sure they just haven't had time to clean. What's wrong, Nick? Nothing. I was just noticing that he isn't here. On Karma. So what is that? That wasn't like that last time. Huh? One of the drawers here is open. Someone must have been looking in it recently. The label says unsolved cases. Evidence. Hmm. Unsolved cases. Nick. The file for DL6. It's completely empty. What? What? What are you doing in here? Oh, there he is. He looks weird from the front. But Von Karma. You. How do you know my name? Huh? Have we met? What are you saying? We see each other every day, don't we? We're Miles Edwards' defense team. Defense team? Hmm, I beg your pardon. You see, I rarely remember defense attorneys. They are like books to me, needless things to be crushed. I can see how this guy was Edgeworth's mentor. Can I actually talk to him? Oh my god, I can. Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth was your student, right? A romanticist who could never shed that veneer of amateurism. Just like his father, always second rate, Mr. Von Karma. You had an axe to grind with Mr. Gregory Edgeworth, didn't you? Me? A grudge against a mere defense attorney? Why? Has he dealt a blow to your otherwise perfect trial record? Hmm. So you did. But what I don't get is, why did you take his son, and son under your wing afterwards? The son of your most bitter rival. That, my dear attorney, is none of your business. I have a theory. And it's basically the one way of getting, like, really getting at Gregory, even though Gre Gregory's dead, is turning his son into a prosecutor. So basically the thing that his father fought against, he made his son into. That's the only thing I think, anyway. Tomorrow will be the last day of this trial. It's been a while since I've had a defense attorney that lasts this long. Still, you will lose in the end. Miles Edgeworth will admit, will admit his own guilt. His guilt of 15 years ago, you mean. You're quite the researcher. If you've done your homework so well, then you certainly you must understand. You know what Miles Edgeworth will tell the court tomorrow. We were right. So Von Karma is going to bring up DL6 in court tomorrow. Well, I can only think of doing this. It seems like a very bad move, but let's do it because we know he wrote it. But this seems retarded to do. Mr. Monkama, have a look at this. This was you, wasn't it? You instructed Yanni Yogi to commit murder. Yanni Yogi? How many years has it been since I've heard him called by that name? He's a fool. I told him to burn it after he read it. S so you admit it? You, you wrote Mr. Yogi this letter? Yes, my dear defense attorney. Thank you for taking the trouble to bring it to me. You saved me from a lot of needless hassle. What? N Nick, what is that thing? Oh, fuck, he's got a taser. Oh, a stun gun. A stun gun for self-defense, usually. Indeed. 600,000 volts will cause through your body like a dog touching an electric fence. 600,000... Oh, don't worry. People don't die from it, usually. No, give me the letter. No! No! Whoa, what are you... Nick, run! Oh dear! Jesus! M Maya! Out of my way! <laughs> Wah! Luigi! <laughs> well, they both got knocked the fuck out. Jesus! Ugh, he got us. The letter's gone, of course. No! Oh and he took the DL6 evidence. All of it. Back to having no clues. Wait, Maya jumped first. Maya, is she okay? Ma Maya? Ooh. Oh. Maya, open your eyes. Oh, she's fine. Oh yeah, god. She looks weird. Maya! The letter, did he take it? Huh? Oh. Yeah. Are you okay? 
I couldn't stop him. I jumped as fast as I could, but one shot from that thing knocked me out cold. I'm useless. I'm no good as a liar or a medium. I can't even call my sister. Not even now when we need her the most. I wish I hadn't woken up at all. Aww. Maya. There has to be some way I can help her. I better do something about her self-confidence first. Maya? She's holding something. What is this? A bullet? DL6 incident, evidence number 7, taken from the heart of Gregory Edgeworth. I remember. Wakama was holding this when Maya jumped him. Oh! So we lost one bit of evidence, but gained another piece. I'll prove it to you, Maya. You're most definitely not useless. I'll prove it to you in court tomorrow. To be continued! I knew that was going to pop up. I'm glad, because I want to end the session. It's been two hours. I could finish the trial. Oops. I just, like, dropped the Ryu gamepad. Yes. No, I, I could end the trial now. Or end the case, because I don't think it's all that lengthy left. But, still. I'd much prefer to do it next time, which means... Next session I'll probably be finishing case 4 and starting case 5. And oh boy, case 5's a doozy. <laughs> yeah, from what I've read, it's a very long one. It's like 8 hours or so, which is pretty insane. Either way, that is going to be the end of this session. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed, and until next time, take care.